Okay, so I'm gonna use this video to create a little bit of a buzz. Um, one of the most enjoyable things about making these videos while we're actually doing field research and sort of bringing the audience along for the moment to moment ride of this is that we can kind of tell you how things are going and how we hope things will go and then we can kind of see how that all plays out. <laughs> and you get to see that too. So here's a great example. This crazy looking stick next to me here with these pink foam rectangles on it is half of what I'm calling a mapping stick. And you'll see there are GoPro mounts on this guy. Um, one there, one there, and then one at the end. Sorry, our laundry's kind of blocking my shot here. Uh, this is our porch. The mapping stick, in this case, again, half a mapping stick, um, this is used so that when we go out to the reef, when the water's flat, which it's pretty flat right now, we can swim along with this stick and with the cameras partially submerged, just enough so that the lens is underwater, so we can get a shot of the reef. Um, but I say partially because the rest of the body's out of the water, and the reason that that is critical is because the GPS still gets a signal. And so the mapping that we're doing with these coral reefs, um, if we have spatial locations for the images, it makes the, the post-processing, the generation of the 3D model of the entire reef extremely fast relative to, to cases when you don't have that information. So um, this mapping stick is a, almost 16 feet, so it's about five meters long it, when it's fully assembled. And so this is pretty cool because it cuts down the effort, uh, or I guess I should say it cuts down the, it does cut down the effort, and also vastly cuts down the time it would take to map uh, an area of reef that's, say, as big as like this whole section of the reef where we've been working like crazy or this whole section of the reef where we've been working like crazy so really massive areas of habitat the scale of this endeavor is far beyond anything anyone has published uh on so i'm not sure if anyone's even tried this but in my sort of how can we make it bigger and more efficient way of thinking i thought okay well here's this mapping stick um, we've had a couple different iterations of this. Um, myself and, and our colleagues uh, down at Corsi have come up with a different, couple different ways of doing this. And, and now um, I'm thinking, well, why don't we just make a bunch of these sticks? And we can sort of comb over the reef as kind of a team. So I'm thinking like, you know, like a scanner, I don't know, scanners are kind of obsolete at this point, but a scanner, you put a document in a scanner and then there's this sort of like, bar that that lights up the document and kind of goes back and forth and sort of scans it it's this long bar that's kind of what this is but you could you could do you could create a bunch of them and have them all in a row sort of running in parallel and and just swim the whole reef and just get an, a, a massive massive image set that you can then generate a massive unprecedented scale coral reef 3D model, which as I am talking about in the other videos about our research is invaluable to understanding how the fish that we study are behaving and how we can predict those behaviors based on things like how close is the nearest hiding hole, uh, which we know corals provide tons of those. So this is really exciting. It could totally fail. Um, and I will let you, I'll let you experience the failures or the triumphs because I'm telling you now we're going to try it. We're gonna make three of these massive sticks. We've got one right now, our, our friend Ben is coming from California in a few days. He's, he's bringing the raw materials for the other two. So if we pull this off, there are going to be three five meters, so three 16 foot long sticks, all running uh, side by side by side. So, you know, 45, over 45 feet, uh, over 15 meters uh, of coverage. And we would all just use swim in that line. So like, you know, one person per stick, so three people, and just scan the reef. And if this works, it will be, I think, probably the cheapest and most efficient by a long shot way that one could ever do this in shallow water. So it's exciting. Uh, I'm pumped. I'm cautious, cautiously optimistic, but we'll see. So we'll let you know how it goes.